major updates from the top automakers, including Ford, Toyota, and Mack trucks. How are parts concerns being addressed? What are the most stolen pickup trucks? What about the safest options? How many commercial drivers aren't wearing their seatbelts? And who is the keynote at DeliveryCon? Get ready as I cover all of that and way more in the 94th episode of the Top News Recap from Truck Chat. I'm Lauren Fletcher, Executive Editor of Fleet Trucking and Transportation at Bobbitt. Let's check out the top work truck and van fleet news highlights as of August 31st, 2023. But before I continue, don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe so you don't miss a single episode. Starting off with news updates from the automakers. After several announcements related to increasing the price, Ford is taking advantage of increased plant capacity, continued work on scaling production and cost, and improving battery raw material costs to help lower the MSRP of the Ford F-150 Lightning work truck for all customers. After a six-week shutdown for facility improvements, the Rouge Electric Vehicle Center is scheduled to build more than 70,000 F-150 Lightning trucks in calendar year 2023, with production for U.S. customers expected to ramp up in the fall. In addition, the upgrades at the plant, combined with improving battery raw material costs and continued work on scaling production and cost, help make it possible to lower pricing across the F-150 Lightning line. Price decreases range from just over $6,000 for the Platinum Extended range to close to $10,000 for the F-150 Lightning Pro. In additional Ford news, the automaker has appointed Peter Stern, a former Apple executive, as the head of the newly established Ford Integrated Services Division. This unit develops and offers software-enabled customer experiences for Ford Blue, Model E, and Ford Pro. Stern, who reports to President and CEO Jim Farley, will build out the business tied to Ford's Blue Cruise hands-free highway driving system and productivity and safety security services, including those from Ford Pro Intelligence Business, imagine and deliver exciting new high-value services and lead services marketing, certain out-of-vehicle customer experiences, and Ford Next. Ford has more than 550,000 paid software and services subscribers, with Ford Pro commercial customers today accounting for more than 80% of them. And did you hear that after a three-year hiatus, Toyota is returning the Land Cruiser for the 2024 model year in North America? The new Land Cruiser will be a high-quality off-roader, staying true to its rugged heritage. It will be built on the TNGAF global truck platform and come with a range-topping iForce Max hybrid powertrain, producing 326 horsepower and 465 pound-feet of torque. According to the manufacturer, the new model will be slightly smaller and more agile on the trails than the previous generation. The new models will come in three grades with a variety of off-road features. The new Land Cruiser will be manufactured in Japan and arrive in the U.S. in the spring of 2024. The manufacturer's suggested retail pricing will start in the mid $50,000 range and be available in seven exterior color choices. And here's a fun fact. Did you know that when the Land Cruiser first arrived in the U.S. in 1958, it only sold one model in the first year? It went on to become one of the automaker's best-selling vehicles. In additional pickup truck news, Nissan has announced that the 2024 model year Titan will be the last model produced by the automaker. On sale now and produced at Nissan's Canton plant in Mississippi, the Titan features a standard 5.6 liter endurance V8 engine that delivers 400 horsepower and 413 pound-feet of torque. Under Nissan's ambition 2030 vision of an electrified future, the automaker will be transitioning the Canton plant with the latest in EV manufacturing technology to support the production of two all-new electric vehicles. Looking at medium-duty news updates, Roanoke Valley Operations in Virginia, where all Mack trucks medium-duty vehicles are assembled, is now certified and participating in the Appalachian Power Company's 100% renewable wind, water, sunlight service. RVO purchases 100% of its renewable energy with zero CO2 emissions from Appalachian Power. Appalachian Power's WWS initiative empowers customers to continuously harness renewable energy, relying entirely on the output from the company's renewable power generators. Mac invested $13 million to establish RVO to produce the Mac MD series, which commenced manufacturing in September of 2020. The Mac MD electric variant, unveiled in March of this year, is slated for production at the facility's close later this year. And continuing with electric vehicle updates, Fisker Inc. showcased its future vehicle lineup in Huntington Beach, California. The Manhattan Beach, California-based carmaker presented four vehicles in technology and sustainability visions to an audience of investors, analysts, employees, and the media. Chairman and CEO Henrik Fisker presided over reveals that included the Fisker Alaska all-electric pickup truck. 
The Fisker Alaska is built in an extended adaptation of a Fisker Ocean's platform called the FT-31. It was built for multiple cargo configurations, including a cargo bed extendable from 4.5 feet to 7.5 feet to 9.2 feet, and a Houdini bed divider that hides away to connect the cargo bed and rear cabin. Fisker noted that they've designed this to be the lightest EV pickup truck available. Reservations are open now and deliveries are expected in 2025. And big news to fleets still struggling with parts issues. We covered two major announcements related to fleet parts from Stellantis and Daimler Truck North America. Stellantis has introduced the B-Pro Auto Aftermarket Parts brand to North America, tailored to meet the specific needs of fleet managers and maintenance professionals. The B-Pro Auto brand offers a range of original equipment-backed parts. The newly introduced B-Pro Auto Parts portfolio is available for most makes and models. Stellantis noted this program aims to help combat the rapidly changing aftermarket and the long-term shift to electrification as vehicles and components become increasingly complex and digital. The newly introduced B-Pro Auto Parts portfolio is available for most makes and models. In addition, this program aims to help combat the rapidly changing aftermarket and the long-term shift to electrification as vehicles and their components are becoming complex. DTNA celebrated the grand opening of its new redistribution center in Whitestown, Indiana. Spanning more than 605,000 square feet, this build-to-suit facility will replenish DTNA's 10 parts distribution centers across the U.S. and Canada with efficient and timely truck parts availability. The addition of the RDC to DTNA's parts distribution network aligns with its aftermarket parts growth initiatives to increase customer uptime. The RDC aims to efficiently replenish parts across the regional PDCs, expanding DTNA's overall parts distribution network to almost 4 million square feet in footprint. The RDC becomes the largest centralized consolidation space in DTNA's parts distribution network. And looking at recent research, have truck thefts been an issue in your fleet? According to an analysis conducted by the National Insurance Crime Bureau, fuel size pickups were the most targeted vehicles for theft in 2022. Accounting for more than 25% of reported thefts, it's a decrease from the peak of 33% in 2021, but still a concern. But there is some good news. There has been a notable increase in recovery rates. In 2022, more than 85% of stolen passenger vehicles were successfully recovered, with approximately 34% being found within a day of the theft reported. In 2022, the top two most stolen vehicles were Chevrolet and Ford full-size pickups. To prevent thefts, be sure to remove valuable items or hide them from view when the truck is unattended, lock all doors and roll up your windows, and never leave your keys in the truck. And continuing with the safety theme, the Insurance Institute for Highway Safety released its annual Top Safety Pick Awards. The evaluations determine whether vehicles qualify for the Top Safety Pick or Top Safety Pick Plus Awards. In the large pickup category, three trucks took home the Top Safety Pick Plus Award, the 2023 Rivian R1T, the 2023 Toyota Tundra Crew Cab, and the Toyota 2023 Toyota Tundra Extended Cab. There were no trucks that received the Top Safety Pick Award. And Verizon Connect, a fleet management solutions provider, released surprising new research findings revealing commercial drivers' risky road behavior. According to a study by the data science team at Verizon Connect, one in 10 commercial drivers operate vehicles without fastening their seatbelts. Based on a comprehensive analysis of more than 7 million dash cam footage videos, the investigation also showed a related concerning trend. 64% of trucking drivers killed in automobile accidents were not wearing seatbelts. Another significant discovery from the study was that 40% of the dash cam videos indicated vehicles exceeding posted speed limits. Speeding has been a persistent contributor to motor vehicle fatalities, accounting for approximately one third of all such incidents over the past two decades. And closing things out with our event update. DeliveryCon, Bobbitt's newest event focusing on uptime and efficiency, has announced its opening keynote. In the seminar, The Changing Role of Fleets in Today's Delivery and Logistics Markets, a blue ribbon panel will discuss issues around supply chains, fuel prices and driver wages, vehicle choice and pricing, and parts and labor costs and shortages, along with pressures such as same-day deliveries and tighter delivery windows. The panel consists of Grace Bay, CEO of Patent Logistics and Hello Truck Lease, Dan McDonough, Director of Operations for Auto Park Fleet, Jeb Lopez, CEO and owners of Wheels Up, and Tony Rimas, venture partner with Autotech Ventures. 
Check out the event lineup at www.deliverycon.com and if you're ready to register, use promo code DCX100FLETCHER for $100 off your registration. Thanks for listening to today's episode of Truck Chat. So much goes on in our industry, it's tough to catch it all, so make sure you subscribe so you never miss an episode. To read it all, head on over to worktruckonline.com, bookmark the page, and sign up for our newsletters. And while you're here, check out the rest of our YouTube channel, subscribe to our podcasts, and follow us on your favorite social platform so you never miss an update from your number one vocational truck resource, Work Truck. Work Truck.